so in this video i am going to show you how to mount ex pad in an android mobile so let's check it out uh, in the older versions of android uh, ex pad was supported and also it was automatically mounting but in the newer version of android like i am running android 7.1.1 here let me show that to you so it's android 7.1.1 which i built in my uh, system so uh, it doesn't support ext fat uh, or we can say that it does support e ex fat but uh, it doesn't want to mount it so let's get a pen drive uh, which is formatted with ex fat let change the brightness a little bit so camera can really see that now uh, after attaching this drive let me attach it really quick we can see that ES pops for the USB and we can see that uh, USB cannot be mounted uh, and if we uh, slide down the notification drawer we can see that there is unsupported sandisk usb drive so if you have a root and also uh, fuse exfs is also installed in your phone that is it will be default installed if you are in a custom room like i am uh, then you can just go to terminal then you have to be root so just type a few then uh, super user prompt will be there you have to click on yes uh, then uh, you have to go to uh, dev which for devices which stands for devices then block so you can see that uh, there are so many devices uh, in this and uh, what you have to do is you have to find the device which is meant for you <clears throat> for that i will be using f disk uh, sd a1 or uh, or sda so i'll be printing the drive i can see that is a efi gpt drive and it starts at one and it has only one partition and uh, its size is 30.7 gb as of i know uh, this usb drive is 32 gb and uh, which will translate to 30 gb that is g gigabyte and uh, the other one 32 is g by byte so 32 gb uh, gib is 30.7 gb so uh, i i know that uh, this is the drive which i am looking for and I can see that the partition number is SDA1 uh, and that is the partition number is 1 and uh, the device ID is SDA so uh, let's mount this uh, partition to mount this partition you have to make a directory uh, any anywhere in the system but mainly I prefer MNT uh, so I just create a directory named 1 in MNT then I will type mount dot ex fat uh, let me just check the command is there so we, i can see that the command is there or the executable is there so i can just type mount dot ex fat then the drive since i am in a dv slash block i don't uh, have to specify the whole directory so i can just type sda1 uh, then slash mnt slash one the new folder created now we can see that the uh, it has successfully mounted that but uh, it is complaining about uh, the volume that is the usb has not been unmounted uh, clearly that means that i have not unmounted uh, the usb drive before uh, removing the usb drive uh, you just neglect if this message is occurring to you but uh, you have to do is that uh, you have to go to the root then uh, you have to go to mnt uh, in the mnt you can see the new folder that is one 
uh, then uh, you have to type ls so you can see the, the files in the pen drive or usb drive you know whichever you want to call it so <coughs> uh, after this uh, the file managers won't recognize the directory you will have to download a root uh, root uh, access uh, allowed file manager like ES file explorer I highly recommend it then you have to go to the SD card uh, then go down to the root folder uh, then uh, you have to go into the uh, MNT folder and one so you can see that uh, uh, there are all the files and if I want I can copy a random file like this untutored benchmark into there and also I can uh, like copy a, uh, a file to here okay uh, really there is an issue with copying the file uh, from the USB drive uh, I just forgot about that uh, glad that I checked it uh, so what you have to do is uh, if you are familiar with the command line uh, then it's very good for you but if you are not familiar just uh, stick with me I will explain uh, battery is currently low so uh, if you want to copy a file you have to type cp uh, the file name that is file name with the directory I am currently in mnd slash 1 so I can see that uh, the file is in the uh, in that directory so uh, anyway I have to, uh, I don't have to specify the directory dot uh, mb4 the internal SD card will be slash SD card then slash uh, then it will copy if you are going to copy a folder you have to type cp minus rv the direct uh, the uh, uh, the directory to the that directory uh, you know uh, the path to the directory then uh, enter the path to where uh, you have to copy the file then it will be copied after some time I I think the I don't have enough space in my uh, drive to copy the whole file after this uh, that file will be completely copied I guarantee it if you want you can use ES file explorer also there is no issue with copying but uh, it won't show the progress so yeah so that's it bummer right there if you want uh, I can copy this again and paste it here so you can see that uh, it has actually copied but you can't see the progress because uh, uh, you don't know what is the si a real size of the file you can see that uh, it's something random so that's all for video all, all for this video and uh, you can see that the storage space has run uh, is running out uh, because I just tried to copy a 3 gigabyte file into my system uh, anyway thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and uh, like this video if it helped you